good morning everyone okay this says consider your foundation but I'm still shuffling so today's Mother's Day I just got out of my bed here a little while ago I've been doing my I gotta go to work soon but I wanted to make this um, video to get the energies for us for just kind of get it's the first quarter moon of the month so and I was moved to do a reading so uh, look, honesty is essential, okay? And it's funny, like, there's there's a lot of, um, I'm just hearing, listen to your heart, that song. To be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner, okay? So there's a lot not being said here, okay? That's what I'm getting from this mask. I'm really drawn to this mask. I also feel like there's something unexpected. You're going to hear something that you just either from someone, like someone's going to reveal some sort of truth about their emotions to you, okay? And this could be just completely unexpected. Did I say Happy Mother's Day? Today's Mother's Day, too. Happy Mother's Day to everyone that that uh, needs to hear that today. So, all right, look, and embrace your emotions. Yeah, because I feel like this might have you feel in some type of way. <laughs> and... Um, Yes, I'm working a double. I heard just somebody just asked me, oh, you got to work today, Lisa? Yeah, I got a, a double, but it's okay. It's all good. All right. And um, like, I feel like this is really going to catch you off guard. It says, don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like this is two things. For one, it's like I feel like the reason someone hasn't um, expressed themselves is due to the fear of the reaction, okay? But this is also for the person on the other side. It's like I feel like, I don't know, the, th the first thing that I heard was you're going to feel like it's wrong. And I, I want to burst into tears, okay? But it's like, you already know that it's not. I feel like this is truly what somebody wants, but it's like, it's probably what both of you want, but neither one of you have been letting yourself have it for some reason, okay? I don't know what that means, really, but that's kind of crazy. Physical touch is important. Yeah, see, I feel like this is going to happen, like, face-to-face. -face. Like, I don't think that this is something that's... Um, for some, they just said for some of you, it's like um, you're going to get like a, a Zoom call or like whatever, some some sort of, it's going to be face to face like that. Like maybe your, your person like lives in a different country or something like that. And they're telling you that they're going to, they're planning to come see you or they're going to be where you're at or they want you to come see them or something like that. I don't know. There's something, there's something there. Okay, so let's see what the next one is. Do something for someone else. Okay, this is the best way to get your head out of your ass. Okay, at least like that's been my experience. <laughs> it's like when I'm feeling like, like when I'm really like just, ah! Um, and it's like the last thing I want to do is to like, you know, do something kind for others. But it truly fucking helps. Okay, it, it really helps. So I don't know what you could do, but you know, call somebody else and ask somebody else how they're doing. And don't talk about yourself. Even if they say, how are you? Say, I'm great, but I called to talk to you. Like, what's going on with you? All right? And that's fucking hard. All right? Because uh, selfishness is a real thing. And I know that I've, like, struggled it, with it with myself, you know? But I feel like there's some some of you out there that, that um, I don't know, I just feel like you know that somebody needs a call and I want to cry again. It's like you know somebody needs you. I don't I don't know who that's for, but it's you're very emotional about it and um they're saying it's time. So yeah, see, actions speak loudly. Because I it says express your love through your actions because I feel like talk is cheap. And whatever's gone on here, okay, and, and this is not just limited to romantic love. I feel like this is like people who have truly failed you in your life and, and you know it and they know it 
and maybe and and this is about forgiveness okay forgiveness of self like whatever side that you're on this is also about forgiveness towards these people like i'm hearing fathers and mothers okay brothers sisters okay this is like family this is friends this is um but people are um this these these revelations these truths listen may is not going to be a joke any kind of fucking joke people okay <laughs> and this is why like i'm like really being moved to like get more organized with putting out more videos because um yeah it, it, there's something about stability okay and it's about showing up and doing my part too okay because um you know through every it, this is why this is why we've gone through the shit that we've gone through because now in may it's like it's it's time to charge forward it's time to charge forward but a lot of people feel like giving up okay and it's not let these truths that have been revealed to you um and these emotions and this sad because the the way that i felt that the sadness like you may have been feeling the sadness of others okay so it's like you're feeling just how terrible um for some of you i'm hearing is like how you've made other people feel okay and so um i want i'm just like being reminded that our words are powerful and i feel like people are waking up to just how powerful words are and um so anyway just to keep it short all right yeah back to what you love okay so actions speak loudly so i feel like not only are some of you becoming aware that you know this time like you have to do more than just say you've changed or say you love you you know that you love somebody it's like we're not talking about shit anymore you're just going to continue to show up as this person that you say that you are now you know and it's just like that's the only way that you can do it you know i mean we can't force anybody i mean that's what i've learned in my own life like i can't force people to see that you know i'm like over 20 years sober and like i still have people that <laughs> treat me like when i was a drunk you know and it's like there's nothing i can do about that like there is nothing i can do about that i can stay angry and bitter and it can make me want to spit or i can just be like bless them change me bless them change me and that's what i do and maybe it seems like impossible to do but for me it's not worth it because people like that or people in that state of mind they're not going to hear what i have to say anyway so what's the point of trying to it's like why am i going to waste my breath and I, I don't need and i'm not saying that like they're not even worth my breath but it's like because they're a human being and they're a child of god they're a child of the universe whatever they're 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 worthy and capable of achieving the peace of mind that i have in my own life but it's like communicating with them or trying to, to force them to see who I am through my words is like a waste of my breath, you know? Um, and, the, and someone refusing to see me for who I am, like even in my actions and continuing to show up as the woman that I am today, it's like they, even if they see it, there's no way they would acknowledge it to me, you know? And I know this because like, I know they see it. It's impossible not to see it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but it is what it is. And sometimes that, that shit fucking hurts, especially like when it comes from family, when it comes from friends, you know, when it comes from people like that, you, that you feel like, or that I felt because I don't like telling people how they feel, you know, you guys, you guys have to decide how you feel. You know, I honestly feel like I'm meant to, to share my story because I've been through some shit, you know, just like everybody else, you know, but, but it's like, I'm, I'm still grateful. I'm grateful for everything that I have experienced. And I feel like that's the, that's the point of it all. 
And if you can find that place in your heart to stay grateful and to stay small and to not forget what what made you, you know, like I am who I am because of where I've come from. And then the work that I've done to pull myself out of where I've come from to get to the other side. That's why I am who I am. So it's like, I can't, for me anyway, I can't feel like any part of my life has been wasted. It doesn't matter how long I've been stuck. You know, I've been in love with people and stayed stuck, you know, as the other girl for 30 years in some situations. And I know that sounds like really fucking sorry. And it is really sorry, <laughs> but it's like, I know they love me. You know, I, kn I knew they loved me and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And I did it and I did it repeatedly. You know, I didn't just do it with one person. I did it. I did it with every man that I've ever met until I decided I loved myself more than those men. You know, and uh, it's been a brutal, <laughs> a brutal ride, man. But what I've earned is my self-respect. And when your worth comes from the inside, when your worth comes from you, nobody can fucking take it away. Because if, if, if you're out there looking for validation through the car you drive or the house you live in or the amount of money that you have in the bank. It's just not going to work. I mean, and I'm speaking from experience on that too, because, you know, I used to have a whole lot of money and I bought everything I ever thought I would ever want or need because I thought that I would be content and feel safe and like nobody could take it away from me. And guess what? I lost all of it. <laughs> and it's crazy. You know, none of it, none of it fixed what needed to be healed and what needed to be healed was that hole inside me. And what, what was that hole inside me? It was just the lack of understanding of who I was. I, I had to dive deep. I had to, you know, and that's like when my whole spiritual awakening came about when I met, um, the person that I refer to as my twin flame, you know, when I met Jack and our eyes met and like the world just like, like it just, it felt like there was an earthquake in Florida. Okay. And I was, I mean, it was, it's, it's completely unexplainable, but you know, I really feel like he was a catalyst in my life for the change that for where I am now, you know, I, I, I fell in love with him and in doing so, I wanted to be better. I instantly started changing. Like I had never, I had never cared about the kind of woman that I was. Like I was never willing to do the work that it took to be respected. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like people are starting to learn for themselves that if they want, it's like, if you, if you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to keep on getting what you've always got. So it's like, if you want better, you got to fucking do better, you know? And that's it. Like, that's like, end of story. Like there's, there's, that's it. Back to what you love yourself. Okay. So some of you, this may mean like you're single. All right. But it's taking you towards a path. Like, look, you see the, you're being divine, divinely guided down this path. Express loves through gifts. Yeah. I feel like some of you are definitely getting some sort of a visitation here. Yeah, back to what you love. All right, so they told me to get one of these from someone. Serapis Bay, Ascension, move into true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. Exactly. This is big change. And it's like, okay, so, so maybe everything's falling apart. 
Okay, maybe relationships have ended. Maybe you're sad. I'm not telling you not to feel it. Okay, you got to feel it. All right, we're not stuffing it. The thing is, is that don't let whatever happen close your heart or stop you from living your joy and expressing your joy. Because I feel like if you look back on your life, you, you you've come a long way. Okay, listen, if you're if you're listening to my channel, like and resonating with my messages, I just feel like you're working your ass off. Okay. And I know that those of you that watch me that I do your personal readings, it's like, you guys are working your ass off. Like this shit is not easy. Everybody wants to be like, you know, have their third eye open and all this shit, but it's like, okay, you know what your third eye opening means? It's like, that means that you've swallowed a lot of truth about yourself. Like you're seeing the fucking real deal. You're seeing your shit. Okay, you're seeing what a rotten person you are. You're seeing what a beautiful person you are. You're learning how to freaking balance the two and like, you know, ride the waves of your destruction, you know, and pff, dude, this shit is not like, oh, I can see your future, you know. No, it's like, it takes change. It takes work. It's like looking in the mirror every day and, and putting in the effort to become the change you want to see in your life. It's not like talking about being a good person. It's like going out there on the street and fucking being a fucking good person. It's not talking about it. It's fucking being about it. And you could do this and, and maybe, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like people are, are waking up to this. You are safe. This was on top of the deck too. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and home. And that's our Archangel Michael. He's my homeboy. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just. Yeah. Remember who you are. You see what I'm saying? You are a powerful being of God, of the universe, whatever word fits your fancy. Okay. You have everything inside you that you need to become anything you fucking want. And don't let anybody tell you different. It's like, okay, so I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like if you guys knew just how bad I've crashed and burned here, like in love, like, oh my God, dude, I don't even, I don't even, I mean, I couldn't talk about it, like, because I was so sad, <laughs> but I don't want to be fucking sad anymore. And it's like, okay, I, I see, I see, I see talk is cheap. Okay. I see talk is cheap and actions speak a lot, a lot louder. And I'm paying attention more to what people do rather than what people say because through everything that I've experienced I've <laughs> still been so naive with my belief in love and I guess this is where the whole spirituality and practicality have to come into play because I'm not giving up on the fact that there's someone meant for me, you know, for whenever I'm supposed to meet them, you know, that's what I've surrendered <laughs> is okay. I'm going to quit trying to think that I know that this is, where I'm supposed to be and just continue to walk, even though everything around me is spinning. <laughs> I'm just going to keep, all I got to do is take one step at a time. Okay. It's like, and it's like, even though the world is fucking tilt a whirling <laughs> as I'm walking through it, I can still remain clear headed and free and, um, doing what's best for me. And I feel like that's the bottom line here. It's this like, there's there, yes, there are a lot of decisions coming 
to play. I'm just seeing people drinking and like, it's like, but destructively drinking, but masking it with fun. And so it's like, I don't know, there's a thin line there for somebody. Okay. So it's like, pay attention. And also in your decision making, ask yourself, like, does this support where I want to go? Yes or no, you know, and then don't do it if it doesn't and do it if it does. Yeah, that means sacrifice, you know, like I just heard, heard people just like, Ugh. it means sacrifice. You know, sometimes we have to sacrifice the things that we want to get what we truly need. All right. That was a crazy message. All right. <laughs> but it felt right. So there you go. I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Oh, and don't forget, I do still have, um, I haven't put the other readings up on, um, my website yet, but it's the three readings for $33 or the five, three card reading, $33, five card reading, $55. And I'm going to add another one. It's a, uh, 10 card reading for 111. There you go. Bye guys.